ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఇంటెగల్ ఆఫ్ ఈ పవర్ సైన్ ఎక్స్ అపాన్ టూ సైన్ క్యూబ్ ఎక్స్ ఇంటూ సైన్ ఎక్స్ మైనస్ టూ ఇంటూ కాస్ ఎక్స్ డిఎక్స్ అండ్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఫైవ్ బై టూ ఈ బై టూ దెన్ విచ్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫాలోయింగ్ ఆర్ కరెక్ట్ ఫస్ట్ ఆప్షన్ లిమిట్ ఎక్స్టెన్స్ జీరో టూ సైన్ స్క్వేర్ ఎక్స్ ఇంటూ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ మైనస్ వన్ అపాన్ టెన్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ బై టూ ఈక్వల్ టు సెకండ్ ఆప్షన్ ఇఫ్ జీ డాష్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈక్వల్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ దెన్ జీ ఆర్ మైనస్ ఎన్ పై టూ ఆర్ ఈజ్ వన్ టు వన్ థర్డ్ ఆప్షన్ లిమిట్ ఎక్స్టెన్స్ జీరో ఎక్స్ ఇంటూ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈజ్ నాట్ డిఫైన్ ఫోర్త్ ఆప్షన్ లిమిట్ ఎక్స్టెన్స్ జీరో ఎక్స్ ఇంటూ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ సెకండ్ ప్రాబ్లం కన్సిడర్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ కే ఈక్వల్ టు ఇంటెగ్రాస్ జీరో టు ఫైవ్ బై టూ డిఎక్స్ అపాన్ రూట్ ఆఫ్ వన్ మైనస్ కే కాస్ ఫైవ్ ఎక్స్ కే బిలాంగ్స్ టు క్లోజ్ జీరో టు ఓపెన్ వన్ దెన్ ఐడెంటిఫై ది కరెక్ట్ ఆప్షన్ ఫస్ట్ ఆప్షన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ వన్ బై టూ ఇస్ లెస్ దాన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ వన్ బై త్రీ లెస్ దాన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ వన్ బై ఫోర్ సెకండ్ ఆప్షన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ వన్ బై ఫోర్ ఇస్ లెస్ దాన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ వన్ బై త్రీ లెస్ దాన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ వన్ బై టూ థర్డ్ ఆప్షన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ వన్ బై ఫోర్ ఇస్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ వన్ బై టూ ఇస్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ త్రీ బై ఫోర్ ఫోర్త్ ఆప్షన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ వన్ బై ఫోర్ ఇస్ లెస్ దాన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ వన్ బై టూ లెస్ దాన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ త్రీ బై ఫోర్ నెక్స్ట్ థర్డ్ క్వశ్చన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎక్స్ ఇంటూ ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ త్రీ ఫర్ మైనస్ వన్ లెస్ దాన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ ఎక్స్ లెస్ దాన్ జీరో మైనస్ సైన్ ఎక్స్ ఫర్ జీరో టు ఫైవ్ బై టూ అండ్ మైనస్ ఆఫ్ వన్ ప్లస్ కాస్ ఎక్స్ ఫర్ ఫైవ్ బై టూ టు ఫైవ్ దెన్ ఐడెంటిఫై ది కరెక్ట్ ఆప్షన్ ఫస్ట్ ఆప్షన్ గ్లోబల్ మ్యాక్సిమమ్ వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఇస్ టూ సెకండ్ ఆప్షన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ హ్యాస్ మ్యాక్సిమా బట్ నో మినిమా థర్డ్ ఆప్షన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ హ్యాస్ మినిమా బట్ నో మ్యాక్సిమా డి ఫోర్త్ ఆప్షన్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఇస్ నాన్ మోనటానిక్ సర్ ఇస్ ది ఆన్సర్ బి డి కరెక్ట్ yes second okay. problem answer is d d yes okay. correct now in the first problem use sin x equal to t and the formula integral of e power x f of x plus f dash of x dx equal e power x into f of x then you can get f of x formula as e power sin x upon 2 sin square x so that you substitute in the first option and simplify then you will get values 2 and f of x greater than 0 so g dash of x greater than 0 implies g of x is increasing hence it is 1 to 1 and uh, x into f of x as x and 0 is not defined. So the options are a, b, c. The second problem, instead of solving for f of k, you apply the inequality properties. So if I take two numbers, k1 and k2, k1 less than k2, we need to multiply k into cos square x. K cos square x is positive. So I can multiply k1 into cos square x less than k2 into cos square x. Next, multiply with minus 1 and add 1 and take a square root and take a reciprocal. Then, you can conclude that f of x is increasing. Then, you can get the options are b and d. So, in the third problem, the correct answer is f of x is non-monotonic. So this can be obtained from the graph. So between minus 1 to 0, the portion of the curve is this. And between 0 to pi by 2, minus sin x. And between pi by 2 to pi, minus of 1 plus cos x. So global maximum value is 0. And f of x has maxima but no minima is wrong. And f of x has minima but no maxima is wrong. So f of x is non-monotonic. Next fourth problem. P x naught y naught be a point on the curve x square minus 11 into y plus 1 plus 4 is 0 where x naught and y naught are natural numbers. If area of the triangle formed by the normal drawn to the curve C at P and the coordinate axis is of the form A upon B where A and B are natural numbers. Then find the least value of A minus 6B. Fifth one. Alpha equal to log of root of cot pi by 12 base E. Then find the value of sigma k equal 0 to infinity e to the power of minus 2 k alpha upon sigma k equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power of k e to the power of minus 2 k alpha whole square. 6. f of x equal to 2x minus 5 whole cube plus 2x minus cos x if derivative of f inverse x at x equal to pi is of the form p by q where g cd of p and c is 1 then find the value of p plus q. In the fourth problem, because x0, y0 are natural numbers, take the constant to the right side and you can write as minus 2 into 2 or 2 into minus 2. Then equate the corresponding factors and then solve. So in only one case, you will get a natural number. x0, y0 will be 3, 1. 
So differentiate and calculate the slope of the tangent and then slope of the normal. Then the equation of the normal will be x plus six y equal to nine. Then the area will be twenty seven by four. So a minus six b least value will be three. Sir, but it will not be maximum if natural number is not given. Like that will be different case. No, the problem is solvable only when they are natural. Ah, huh. so that's why the problem is designed such that you will get a natural number. Hmm. Otherwise, it is not possible to calculate because it's an integer problem. So that's why they have made it as a natural number. Okay. In the fifth problem, numerator is a geometric progression. <coughs> infinite GP. The number also infinite GP. Simplify and then substitute alpha. So in the fifth problem, when you simplify just using infinite geometric progression, you will get as e to the power of two alpha plus one upon e to the power of two alpha minus one inside, and for that you have to take a square. So substitute e to the power of two alpha as cot fifteen degrees, and simplify. So we get root three. So root three goes for is three. In the sixth problem, let us consider f inverse of x equal to g of x. Then their composite function is an identity function. Now, if we consider f of pi by two. The value will be pi. So g of pi equal to pi by two. So g dash of x equal to one upon f dash of g of x substitute x equal to pi and simplify. So the g dash of pi is one by three. That is derivative of f inverse x is one by three. So p plus q value is four. The seventh problem is a batch of 50 radio sets was purchased from three different companies, A, C, B, and C. 18 of them were manufactured by A, 20 of them by B, and rest by C. The companies A and C produce excellent quality radio sets with probability equal to 0.9. B produces the same with the probability 0.6. If the probability of the event that the excellent quality radio set chosen at random is manufactured by the company B. Is of the form p by q. Then find the least value of modulus of p minus q. Now, using Bayes' theorem, you can get the answer for the seventh problem. Eight one integral of sine cube x plus sine cube of x plus two pi by three plus sine cube of x plus four pi by three dx equal to nine. Triangle ABC is formed by three tangents on parabola y square equal to four x. If two vertices of triangle ABC lie on rectangular hyperbola x y equal to c square, then prove that the third vertex also lies on the Hyperbola x y equal to c square. Sir, can. So the seventh problem: probability of A is 18 by 50, probability of B is 20 by 50, probability of C is 12 by 50. And if E denotes the excellent quality radio set, then probability of E given A 0.9. And probability of E given B 0.6. Probability of E given C 0.9. Now, as per the statement, we need to calculate probability of B given E. So, using the Bayes theorem, we will get the value 4 upon 13. So, modulus of P minus Q is 9. So, the eighth problem, one method is because it is in the form of A Q plus B Q plus C Q. So, you try to calculate for A plus B plus C. So, sine x plus sine of x plus 2 pi by 3 plus sine of x plus 4 pi by 3. You can get as zero. Then you can apply AQ plus BQ plus CQ be equal to three ABC. And for ABC product also you have a formula you can apply. Another method is use the formula of sine three x and write the formula for sine cube x and then simplify. So the value will be one by four cos three x plus three. The ninth problem: use parametric coordinates t1, t2, t3 and write the vertices of triangle ABC and substitute it and verify. So triangle ABC is formed by three tangents on parabola y square equal to 4x. So if I take three points with parameters t1, t2, t3, then their tangents intersect the triangle ABC. So coordinates of the vertices of triangle ABC becomes a t1, t2, comma a into t1 plus t2. 
B A T two T three comma A into T two plus T three C A T three T one comma A into T three plus T one. Now let us consider A and C lies on the rectangular hyperbola x y equal to c square. When I substitute the vertices A and C, then you will get a quadratic equation in terms of T two square and T three square. So from this you can write as T two and T three are the roots of A square T one into T square plus A square T one square into T minus C square equal to zero. So write the sum of the roots and product of the roots. That is T two plus T three and T two T three. Now, if you substitute the vertex B in the product x y and simplify, then also you'll get the c square. Then we can conclude that all the three vertices lie on rectangular hyperbola x y equal to c square. Sir, in that Roman numeral one, what we have to calculate? Sir, J and K both are given and nothing is mentioned. No, question is not completed. Uh, I'd write still few more. Is the column matching three columns? So is the column matching? So column one, column two, column three. First one, j equal to integral of zero to infinity log of one plus t square upon one plus t square dt and k equal to integral of zero to pi by two log of sine t dt. If j plus alpha k equal zero, then alpha equal to what? Second. The value of four into limit x t tends to zero integral of zero to tan inverse t x transpose dx upon integral of one to secant x square minus one dx. Third, the slope of tangent drawn to the curve f of x equal to sine x minus integral of zero to x x minus t f of t dt at x equal to zero is four. The number of integral values of k for which e power x into x minus three equal to k has exactly two solutions is now column two number one is one two is two three is seven four is four. Column three P distance between focus and directrix of parabola x square equal to minus eight y is Q. The order of differential equation d square y by d x square equal to root of one plus d y by d x whole square. R odd number yes even number. Now, so the first question is which is correct combination? First option is Roman number four one P. Second option three four yes. Third option two three R. Fourth option one two q. Eleventh question, which is incorrect combination. Twelfth, which is correct combination. Just single answer question only. So tenth problem answer is D. Eleventh problem answer also D. And twelfth problem answer is A. Yeah.